Hey everyone, it's Ben with Type Me. Today on the 313, we're talking about Dexcom G6 trending arrows and what they really mean. Now during the 313, you're gonna get three facts, one suggestion in just three minutes. But remember to consult your physician and to reference any links below before making any medical decisions. Let's go. If you're a Dexcom user, you may have noticed that your life has become saturated by arrows. No, not those arrows, these kinds of arrows. The kinds of arrows that show you what your milligram per deciliter or millimole should expect to be within a certain amount of time. Now the first thing you need to know is that the arrows are suggestions only. The Dexcom G6 trending arrow reference page states make diabetes treatment decisions with zero finger sticks and no calibrations asterisks. Yes, what's the asterisk? Well, if you look at the bottom of the page, it does say if your glucose readings from G6 do not match your symptoms or expectations, then you should use a blood glucose meter to make diabetes treatment decisions. Thus, CGM arrows should be considered as an approximate number for tracking and trending, not an absolute number. All right, let's explain these arrows. Now, it's important to note that there are only four possible arrow categories, and all categories indicate an expected change within the next 30 minutes. All right, firstly, there's a horizontal arrow, which uh, does not indicate zero plus or minus, but rather it indicates a possible increase decrease in blood glucose less than one milligram per deciliter each minute, which is again approximate because the G6 system actually updates every five minutes, so it's confusing. Next, there's a 45 degree arrow up or down, and these indicate that there's a plus or minus of 30 to 60 milligrams per deciliter change in your blood glucose over the next 30 minutes. The third arrow you're gonna see is a 90 degree straight up and down arrow. This indicates a 60 to 90 milligram per deciliter plus or minus within the next 30 minutes. And lastly, the dreaded 90 degree straight up or down double arrow. These arrows are fairly vague, but are meant to indicate a greater than 90 milligram per deciliter jump or drop within the next 30 minutes. Now, I don't think I need to remind you, but this is an incredibly complicated, ingenious device that is very accurate most of the time, except for when it's not. I mean, have you ever heard of compression lows? That's a real thing, and I'll talk about it on the next 313. Suggestions, yes, when using the Dexcom G6 app, it would be amazing if just below the trending arrow, there was a small reminder that helped forgetful people like me to know what that's really supposed to mean. Thank you.